Hello and welcome to Card English. So we'll discuss about corporate crime here. First of all, there's not a fancy terminology and this is a real crime and refers to those crimes that are perpetuated by people who belong to a corporation, either by themselves or by a group of people who come together to do the crime. This often is called as a business entity because these actions are not that would be necessarily tangible with those beliefs of the people who fall prey to these kinds of crimes. So one such different term that could be referred to the same condition is called as white collar crime and these are those majority of individuals who act or represent the interest of corporations in complete dispense of the interest of the people or those customers who are involved in the crime. Yet another term that refers to the same kind of crime or which can also be considered as similar kind of crime is organized crime. So corporate crime can also be called as an organized crime and it is estimated that around 20% of the world trade is affected by this mode of crime worldwide. Yet another mode of this kind of crime is state corporate crime and where you find people who belong to a state partner with the people from the corporate world and do the crime together. These are again not in the interest of the people who belong to the state or live in their some of the most popular names and top corporate crimes across the world are these. The first is Charles Ponzi, who was one of the most popular criminals of the 19th century. He was so popular to the extent that there was a certain mode of crime which was named after him and is called as Ponzi scheme. Some of the most honorable mentions are the people like Kenneth Lay, who had been the CEO of Enron. The other one is Bernard Evers, who was CEO of WorldCom. Bernard Benny Madoff, who was the non-executive chairman of Nasdaq stock markets. And finally, we have Lehman Brothers who were the bank owners of the United States and who went bankrupt in the late 2008.